One of my favorite big game bullets with any cartridge is the Nosler Acubon. And this particular load right here from Federal is a 140 grain Nosler Acubon for the 6.5 Creedmoor. Now I've taken this exact load to Newfoundland and used it to shoot a Woodland Caribou, a huge black bear, and a moose. It worked very well and I didn't even shoot all that good during that hunt. Uh, in this box here that we've been testing out of, there's not many left in it, and that's because my son has went five for five on whitetails with this exact same load. Now, if you're not that familiar with the Nosler Acubon, to understand it, you have to go back to the beginning of Nosler when they introduced what is now known as the famous Nosler Partition. That bullet had dual cores. It had a front core and a rear core that was separated by the gilding metal that formed the jacket. Um, developed a great reputation as a killer, but some people complained that they didn't shoot all that well. It wasn't all that accurate. So what Nosler did then was they brought out the ballistic tip. Now the Nosler ballistic tip is kind of a traditional lead core bullet, but it had a plastic tip on the end, which helped with accuracy, it helped with BC, and it helped protect the point of the bullet in the magazine from getting damaged. Uh, the, the Nosler ballistic tip turned into also a great hunting bullet, but it wasn't as tough as some people liked. Uh, extremely accurate, not quite as tough as some people wanted. So what Nosler did is kind of combined the best of both worlds with the Nosler Acubond. The Nosler Acubond is a bonded bullet. The core is bonded to the jacket. That helps them stay together during penetration. So if they hit bone or something that, that doesn't come apart, the bullet retains weight and penetrates deep. Like I said, it's one of my favorite uh, big game bullets in any cartridge. In this particular 140 grain load for the 6.5 Creedmoor, we've already done the velocity testing on it. It averaged 2,602 feet per second for nine shots. The BC is 0.509, which if you're wanting to stretch the distance for the 6.5 Creedmoor, you're looking for a BC over 500. And what really was impressive about this bullet was how accurate it was. For three three shot groups at 100 yards, it averaged exactly a half inch. Now what we want to do now is poke this bullet into some clear ballistic blocks we've got set up at 100 yards and you can see the kind of terminal performance that this bullet delivers. All right, we've got our clear ballistic blocks back up on the shooting table. As you can see, it's kind of hard to keep them on a table like this when you shoot them with a centerfire rifle cartridge. Now, this was the 140 grain Nosler Acubon. This is the Federal load. And if you look at these two blocks here, essentially what we have is two blocks. This first one is our wound cavity block, and this second one is our catch block. Uh, about any centerfire rifle cartridge until you get up to the super massive, dangerous game stuff, you're going to contain that wound cavity here in this first block. And if you look here, we got quite a bit of destruction. A lot of people would call this uh, uh, permanent wound cavity, temporary stretch cavity. You, there are all kinds of technical names. I think the best way to define it is just say it's a, a wake of destruction left by the bullet. You can see the bullet is over here in the catch block, and it had pretty impressive penetration for a 6.5 Creedmoor. We're looking at 27 inches. So let's pull this bullet out and see what's left of it, see what it looks like. Here's what's left of the 140 grain Nosler Acubond. You can see a couple little pieces are falling off of it. And that's something you can expect with a lead core bullet, even a bonded bullet. You're going to get a little lead debris that erodes away from the bullet. Sometimes it'll pull a little piece of the copper jacket. But for the most part, we've got a pretty contained bullet here. It started out at 140 grains. After 27 inches of penetration in clear ballistics, it weighs 103 grains. Typically what you see with Acubonds is about 80% weight retention if they don't hit big bones or something, and that's what we got here. Now as far as how much this bullet deformed in the frontal diameter, we're looking at an average of about, average of about a half inch, which is way better than one and a half, one and a half times its original diameter. So that's what you can expect out of a 6.5 Creedmoor with a 140 grain Nosler Acubine. And you can see with this much penetration, this is not just a deer bullet. That's why I selected this bullet to go to Newfoundland for a caribou 
black bear and moose and you got 27 inches of penetration.